Then there's the Citroen 2CV, which I hate. This car is the harbinger of everything that's gone wrong in the world. Veganism, cycling, liberal Democrats, people who talk about having my truth. There's no such thing as my truth. The truth is that it's awful. It's you not can't... awful. It's a very practical, sensible car that stood the test of time for decades and decades. It survived a war, it liberated the French peasantry. It's fantastic. It's, and it's, it's like... totemic. That is the most French thing in the world. If you have a themed restaurant or you're a f doing a film or you're painting a picture, you think, how do I make this look more French? Put a 2CV in it, or just a bit of a 2CV. But you don't even have wind-down windows. Look, it's stupid. Yeah, but lots of aeroplanes have windows like that. It's a perfect... It's a it's what totally... aeroplane? I've never been on an aeroplane. My got... aeroplane has got a window exactly like that. This is a fantastic car. Everything in it is fit for purpose and no more. I hate the expression fit for purpose. But it is. Well, oh, hello. You... Where's the helicopter? It's evidence. Well, let's not get bogged down in that, OK? Move on. Because even I will admit the 2CV does have very clever suspension. In fact, it's claimed that you can drop one from under a helicopter at a height of 500 feet and the springs will absorb the impact. Really? Well, let's find out. Yeah, what's happened is, I've misread the handbook. It says that the suspension is so compliant, you can drive across a ploughed field with half a dozen eggs on the passenger seat and they won't break. And how did you misread that? Well, in my mind, earth is the French word for helicopter. But... At this point, I figured it was best to move on and examine the relationship the French have with their cars. Hi. 